manufacturers have plenty to worry about these days. It's not just tariffs, but also the future of NAFTA. And talks have been stalled. KARK4 correspondent Jessica Smith joins us live from our D.C. Bureau. And Jessica, negotiations may soon kick into high gear. Right, the U.S. trade rep testified before a Senate committee this week, and he faced a lot of tough questions on trade. Many lawmakers are worried about farmers and what will happen if these trade disputes continue if there's no deal on NAFTA. Iowa Congressman David Young says his farmers are suffering the consequences of tariffs and uncertainty about NAFTA is not helping. There's only so much that farmers and agriculture can take. This week, U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer told senators he hopes to strike a deal with Canada and Mexico soon. I'll be looking at half and have some kind of a conclusion of August. And, and my sense is that that's not an unreasonable time frame if, if everybody wants to get it done. Lighthizer met with Mexican trade officials this week. He says he hopes to lock in a deal with Mexico that will encourage Canada to get on board. I don't believe that they've compromised in the same way the United States has or that Mexico has. But some worry President Trump's steel and aluminum tariffs are making negotiations more complicated. Congresswoman Sherry Busso says her farmers in Illinois need certainty. They want to make sure that our, our best trading partners, Canada and Mexico, and then China, uh, remain as viable markets to sell our corn, our soybeans, our pork. Young says signing a deal with Canada and Mexico will help the U.S. address its biggest trade problem. Let's use uh, those relationships in an allied way, in a strengthened way to isolate China. Lighthizer says he's hopeful, but he's not making any promises. I don't know whether we're going to get an agreement. It depends on everybody being reasonable. Negotiators had hoped to come to an agreement in May before the Mexican elections, but are now hoping to finish talks before the new president of Mexico takes office. The midterm elections here in the U.S. could be another hurdle for NAFTA. It wasn't that long ago that the president said he wanted to put off finalizing NAFTA until after those elections. So we'll be watching these negotiations very carefully and we'll let you know how this all plays out. Reporting live in Washington, Smith, KRK 4 News. And Jessica, the president also met with trade officials from the EU. That Tell us about those negotiations. Right, President Trump met with the president of the European Commission at the White House this week, and they basically agreed to work together on these trade issues and decided not to put any new tariffs, like tariffs on auto imports, in effect while those negotiations are going on. So lawmakers I'm talking to say they're breathing a little easier, but they're still skeptical because nothing is set in stone. So we'll keep you updated on that as well. Jessica, live in D.C. Jessica, thank you so much.